Okay, we just did the installation of our plugins, and one of the plugins we installed was iTheme Security, and we're here at the dashboard of that plugin, and you can see the red stripe on the warning up the top that says huge SEO issue, you're blocking access to uh, robots, and go to our reading setting and uncheck the box for search engine visibility. Now you, you know, we, we purposely left that uh, checked for the search engines not to check us. Just because cause our site was under construction. Yeah, we're still under construction. Um, and you know, we talked about we haven't gone in yet and deleted the blog posts that are ad ipsalam and all the, the Greek yeah. and stuff that are already in there. So we have to go in and kind of clean it up. So we're okay with that warning that we know the search engines aren't sending their robots to crawl over our website at this point. So. Uh, the next step is we want to make sure the website's secure, and that's why we downloaded this particular uh, plugin. And there's a great video that we could watch here, and it'll go through and talk about uh, how to really set up all the security issues. For for the most part, the plugin comes um, ready to go, already pretty well set up, and there's not much else you have to do unless you want to find tweak it. Uh, you can go to settings. There are a number of things you can check here if you. Uh, and again, some of these are pretty uh, advanced topics, so typically I just leave everything here set as it is. And the next thing is you can see we could go to advanced. Let's just skip that. But one thing we do want to do is we want to back up our website. Very important to back up the website on a regular basis. And, you know, if you've ever had a crash on your hard drive at home on your computer, or you've lost files before your pictures or something like Phone that. Phone breaks and you haven't plugged it in. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know how important backups are. So you can see we can create a database backup, which is important. We do want to back up the database, but we also want to back up the entire site every so often. So if everything just completely crashed, we would like to be able to reinstall the entire website with just a backup routine. Now again, it's important to back up your database where your files are being stored, but that's just, you know, if we had a database issue, we could restore those database files, but if we had something go wrong with the entire site, we need to restore the entire website as well, okay? All right. So in that case, there are some plugins available, free, that will allow you to back up your entire website, but the iTheme security uh, plugin that we've uh, just downloaded is part of the iThemes company and I've always used Backup Buddy which is part of the iThemes company and so um, I like using Backup Buddy. I'm familiar with it. It just works well. Now, Backup Buddy is a paid plugin so you do need to know that and uh, since I've already uh, bought it for this year. Let's go ahead and ins install Backup Buddy. Okay, let's go over to the iThemes website and we're going to download the Backup Buddy plugin. Okay, and you can see we're here um, and we're logged in already. So let's go ahead and click on Backup Buddy and download it. Okay, we've downloaded Backup Buddy and we're ready to install it in our plugin file. So um, let's go ahead and go Add New under Plugins. And again, what we're going to do is upload the plugin we just downloaded and again it's in our download folder so backup buddy is one you want and go ahead and install now okay let's go ahead and activate the plugin okay you can see that uh, the plugin has been activated and we're ready now to go ahead and start our backup process now we need to set up our profile so as we back up the files uh, we have a place that we're going to send them and we also need to set up a schedule. So go to Backup Buddy and just click on it. Okay, we come to the setup screen. Let's go ahead and change the email to the one we just uh, set up a, a little bit ago. Okay, let's create a password and then confirm it. So go ahead and set that up. Now passwords in case we need to restore backup, we want to have that password in place. Okay, now where do we want the backup to go? Now click on the drop down. You'll see that there are several options available. We could have the backups uh, email to us. Sometimes those files might be a little bit large. Uh, we could actually send them over to our server. Sometimes the server, you know, Rackspace, HostGator, whoever it is, uh, get a little bit uptight when you start sending too many backup files to them or large backup files to them. 
Uh, you could also put them in Dropbox. So if you got a free Dropbox account, we could set up uh, the backups to go to Dropbox, and that's another option. In this case, since we have a license with Backup Buddy, they give us what's called Stash, and as you can see, it's recommended. And so we're going to store our backups in uh, on Backup Buddy in their Stash, and it's really kind of like a Dropbox. It's just a big cloud storage space, so we're going to go ahead and set them up there. Okay, uh, we've selected Backup Buddy Stash, and we've gotten our username and password entered, so we're set up with that. So the next thing we need is to set up the how often do we want to back up our site. So if you'll click on that little drop down. Now we could obviously set up our own schedule through the um, plugin. Um, you can see they've recommended a couple. They have the starter recommended and then they have the active blogger. In this case we're going to be an active blogger. So we want to do weekly complete backup and then a daily uh, backup of the uh, database files. In fact as we're building our website, we may want to back up s several times during the day. You know, it's like anything else you're doing. You just If you do a lot of work for a few hours and you think there may be some issue might arise, you don't want to like, lose it. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to lose it. So we may be periodically during the day just hitting the backup file on Backup Buddy and doing a backup. So let's go ahead and save those settings. Okay, you can see that the uh, program automatically ran a backup for us and did the backup and um, backed up the complete files, all the files, and the database, and exported them to our destination. So we're good to go. Now, again, if we wanted to, we could we could back up the at any time. We just come back over here to Backup Buddy in our profile and select Backup, and we would get the option, as you can see here, to either back up just the database or do a complete backup and we would just obviously send them to the remote destination we've already selected right. and you can see here that the nice thing backup buddy's given us a, a list here that it uh, just backed up our uh, files five minutes ago and we did a complete backup it shows how big the file was and it also gives a status report that the backup was good and so we're good to go all right cool